we need to use a for loop to actually loop through and now split those lines into line so all the lines we're going to change it into one line each so the way to do that we use a for loop like I said for int and this is syntax for the for loop we put start initialize i of 0 and i is less than or equals to uh, and remember the counter that we had this dot lines counter so this is the line counter and this will obviously give us the, the size of the actual um, loop that we need to uh, loop through so we had 10 lines then you need to go 10 times round repeat 10 times and now what we're going to do we're going to use something like the, r the regular expression but this time we're going to extract the lines from that string so we have lines we have a l oh right so we've got an array called line that we created earlier so we're going to make that use of that now so the way we're going to do that is we're going to say this dot line equals regular expression again this time it's not it's not matches we're not looking just for a match we're actually going to be using splits so we, we're splitting the actual string now and then this dot lines so we're taking in all the lines that's in the file all the content of the file and we're just basically splitting it into different individual lines so each element in the array would hold a line and the way we do that is to, to uh, differentiate between spaces and lines this time we're just going to look for backslash r backslash n and that's a new line and return character so this will take these lines and look for instances of this and every time it finds an instance of that it basically says right that's the end of that line and let me put it in the array so the element 0 would hold the first line element 1 in the array would hold the second line and so on and if you don't know why I'm saying element 0 is because arrays always start with 0 so that has to be clear 